Dude, there's a dog. What? There is a dog in the water. And he's about to chase the monkey. He doesn't care about us. Yo, hey guys, what's up? I'm coming off the back of four hours sleep after the full moon party. So we're just leaving um, the island where it was on. And now we're going to Dawn Suck, I think it's called. But check this thing out. This is the ferry that we're on, which is pretty cool. It's got aircon, all that kind of stuff. It's got a shop. I'm gonna take you on a quick tour, but you gotta see what I have found. This is cool, and I can't believe I actually got a ticket for this, right? Everyone's still boarding, so it's a little bit busy, but check, check this out, right? So I've seen this room, I'm like, what is it? It's a massage room. So you can just sit there in the aircon. I just booked an hour massage. 300 baht, pretty cheap. So we're gonna go in there, but let's uh, let's check out this boat. So here we are on the top deck, where no one wants to wants to see it because it's like 34 degrees out here. But uh, have a look at this water. Absolutely amazing. You can see right out there to the island. But yeah, guys, we have about a two-hour journey to to the next island over. We're gonna do some. Um, Lamping or something like that? I don't know. Christy's organizing all this. But this boat is massive. Are we allowed up here? No, staff only. But um, yes, I'm gonna go get in my seat, see who we're sitting next to, see if they're friendly. What's up? Come on. See if they're friendly, maybe have a conversation with them because we're stuck here for two hours. I'm feeling hungover. And you know, we need to do something with our time, so let's go see see who we can meet. What's this area? It's VIP. How you doing? Oh, the VIP? Yeah. Uh, yeah. That must be my area. Now guys, we've just found the VIP lounge for members only. How do you get in? You can't, you need a special card. All right, well that didn't work. I will get the pricing information too, so you know how much this costs. How much did, the, how much did this cost? Oh, yeah. Dogs, so. I don't know. I'm trying to let everyone know. I can't even tell them. <laughs> but it's probably maybe, I'm not going to guess. I will drop the price on the screen once I find out. Wow, you could almost put this on and just walk straight into the VIP and just pretend you work here if you wanted to. You can hold it. You want to steal stuff? No, I'm joking. Um, all right, so thanks, man. I'll take it. I've got to find another seat then. Awesome. Okay, guys, so I've lost my seat. Apparently, there's already people sitting there. Thanks, guys. Oh, you were the one. Okay, can I sit on your lap, maybe? Yes, of course. No, I'm joking. I'm joking, but guys, we have to find a new seat. This will be my seat shortly in the massage area. But uh, yeah, I've got to wait about half an hour. Um, so we're crying babies, we've got people everywhere. I don't have a seat. Maybe maybe someone will be nice and give me one down here. Let's have a look. Uh, I really want to become a better chess player because my rating is like 800 or something. Uh, you would beat me. No. So as we can see, we're sitting next to someone very intelligent. A lot more than me. No. She's studying chess. No. <laughs> Chris, do you know how to play chess? No, bro. No. So well, maybe we can do like a round. I do have hey. it on my phone. Hey, maybe maybe we can play. Do I have to get the app as well? No, no, no. no. I, we can just like play together. When now? Like this. Okay. Now? And uh, we'll, we'll let you do some study first, <laughs> and then we okay, can play. Okay, cool. Okay. I'm really glad I got a seat here. It's good next to Chris and Dina. Dina. Hi, what's your Dina. Name? Marco. Marco. Where are you Where from? Oh, oh. I'm from the Netherlands. Netherlands. Wow, they're everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> I meet I meet Netherlands people every day. Are you from Amsterdam? Um. Practically, like the Practically. village. We're gonna learn some. Oh yeah, chess. it's a, it's mat in anus made in one. So mat in anus. The, um, so the puzzle shouldn't be all too hard, uh, because with one move, like if there's if it says nothing to the right here, white uh, can move, and if it says a black dot, then black can move, okay. and you need to find the move that uh, gets checkmate. I'm already confused. Wait, do you know the rules of chess? Obviously, we're dealing with a very highly intelligent person here. Oh, very. And. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, obviously, if you can do chess, you're very smart. I can't do it. No, no I surprises. can't do it yet. I want to be able to do it. I bet she I'm says that, but she's probably really good. That's why I'm studying. That's why I'm studying it. 
Guys, the time has come for my massage. We haven't even left yet. Can I go to the toilet first? Is that okay? I go to the toilet? You the toilet, no? Yeah. Toilet? Inside. Inside? Okay, I'll be no, back in five minutes. Back, nah. Have you got room for another person? Have you got room for one more person or? Just Only one? one? Only one? Ah. Okay. Guys, we're gonna go to the toilet first because there's nothing worse than holding onto a pee uh, while you're getting a ma nice massage. But guys, we are outside. We have started moving. Um, toilet is down here, I think. Do you know where the toilet is? This way? Toilet? Yeah. This way. Awesome, thank you. Oh, this one. Get the water, okay. So this gentleman's just told me to just whip it out over the edge here, which I probably would if I was having a few drinks, but we're not gonna get kicked off the boat right now. We need the massage and uh, we're gonna go to the toilet, wherever that is. Here it is. So I will stop recording right now uh, for many reasons. Well, I can't believe how lucky I got. I mean, we have a boat with hundreds and hundreds of people on and somehow I've secured, oh, I've secured a massage. So it looks like we're gonna start with the, with the feet. Up there. Wow. I feel like I'm on an actual like a cruise liner, like a like a PO or a carnival cruise. Just chilling here. It's really nice. We've got aircon, we've got fans. We're getting a, a foot massage. Do you know if they sell cocktails? Do they sell cocktails? Cocktail? Drinks? Beers? Yeah, do they sell cocktails? Co cocktails? Okay. Okay. What what? What else? I'm gonna get out a photo. Oh, of course there's a crying baby. I'll let you guys listen to that while I get up a photo of a cocktail. Because wouldn't that be good if I can get a cocktail served while, while getting a massage and listening to the crying baby. Um, like, like this? Yeah. yeah, do they sell? Oh, they do? And uh, they, they would bring it? There? Yeah? Okay. Okay. I think she understands. But just, yeah, I, I don't know. No cocktail. Oh, no cocktail? Yeah. Oh. Spoke too soon, guys. I, I got really excited about that. But we're just gonna have to do this one sober. So what we've got here, this tiger bum? Ti tiger bum? Huh? Tiger? Yeah. Ti tiger bum, yeah. mm, smells good. So tiger bum is a special cream they've got here in Thailand. It's got like a real, real nice scent. You'll know the smell straight away if you smelled it, but um, they swear it's like a miracle cream. And they love using it here when you get a massage. They rub it right in and it's meant to, to fix up anything. Can I stand by these claims? No, I can't, but it's, uh, it's, it's what the packet says, so it must be true. So you've got this stick out. This is the, the real reflexology, where they get this stick out. And they say that certain parts of the sole of the foot that they push can fix different organs and different parts of your body. So if you've got a sore lower back, they can get this stick here, push it in to the certain muscle, which is then connected to other parts of your body, and it can, can cure it. How much truth is there behind that? I'm not sure. I did not invent reflexology. I have not studied it. I can only tell you what I know, what, I, what I've learned, and I can just tell you what feels good. And this feels very good. Wow, look at that technique. The elbow's rolling. The boys love that one. Oh, it feels so good. I'm not gonna lie guys, I'm actually getting really tired now. It's starting to hit me. The lack of sleep. This is just so relaxing. My body is just refusing to stay awake. 
Even though we've got a crying baby over here, which you all know how much I love, I'm very chilled and very, very relaxed. Actually, get that baby out of here. Are you allowed to take tip? Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Let's see what else I got. I want to give you the biggest tip of your life. There you go. Thank you very much. It was very, very good. Guys, you need to take advantage of this. If you're on this ship one day, come here. This lady, very good. Best massager in Thailand. Thank you. Guys, as you can see, I am nearly asleep. That took it out of me. What other adventures can we have on this ship? Should we do a lap outside? You know what, we're gonna go, we're gonna go to the cafe. We're gonna go check out what food they have. I'm not even hungry, but we'll have a look anyway. Alrighty, this is the ship shop. So, we've got some uh, souvenirs over here. Thailand hats, which are famous, you see everywhere. We've got some uh, sarongs, is that what you call them? Thai inspired elephants, all that kind of thing. This bag. But let's get over to the real stuff the food. So, what can you have on board? You can have some noodles, uh, various, various size cups and flavors from around the Asian region. Uh, some of these, if you forget, um, you know, they've got you covered. And we've got an alligator chomper. Cool. That's pretty cool. Is that edible? I think it's got a lollipop on it, too. You know what? I think we get a treat for dinner. Not for dinner, for Dina, the girl sitting next to me. Um, so, we don't know if she's got any dietary requirements. We don't know if she's a vegan. We don't know these things, so it's a bit of a gamble. So, do we go? Do we go for the Oreos, which actually are are a vegan treat, uh, believe it or not? Uh, the cream and the the chocolate, I believe, fully fully veganized. Or do we get her a a top bar, um, which is pretty good. It's a bit of a rip off of a a picnic or something. So that is not vegan. Or do we get her some some nuts? Um, or maybe, maybe those coated ones. It's a big gamble. Look at these. You know what? Everyone likes these. All right. We're gonna get. We're gonna get those for her, for me. Um, and we'll go to the Oreos. So safe option. And then it's just a process of elimination. The Thai people, they're good. Thank you very much. There's my change. All right, guys. I want you to guess. What is she gonna go with? Does she want the Oreos or does she want these things? Well, I'm gonna say Oreos. Let's go find out. Hey, I got I got a treat for you. Which one? I don't know what you're into, sweet or savory. So I've got both for you, and you have to choose which one. And I'll eat the one, unless you don't like either of them, do you? I think I like both, but if I can choose, I'll get the. Do ours? Yes, I was right. I was right. There you go. Thank you I'd like to present to those to you. Thank you. <laughs> and I got these things. So they're like little peanuts with a coating. Sure the kind of thing I like. I also don't mind paying you for it. Yeah. <laughs> like I really do not mind. Yeah, it was a thousand baht. Two thousand. No. Two thousand. <laughs> Two thousand. No. As if I'd make you pay. Don't be. Don't be ridiculous. She's I, I, she's so like, friendly. She mind. wants she wants to pay for a gift. No, I, I like mind. Gifts, but I mind. Like no, it's fine. We're all just we're just all enjoying our trip here. How long's the drive, buddy? Uh, about two and a half hours. Two and a half hours. <laughs> I thought we were like twenty minutes. Ah, uh, guys. So we have just got some horrible, horrible news. Um, two and a half hours in a van to get to this get to this place. All right. So we've just been on a ferry. Recline and go to sleep, guys. We've got to yeah. sleep. You know I can't sleep on in vans. But maybe yeah, today I can. You know. A 
Okay, so we've just stopped off for some coffee, water, and all that at 7-Eleven. And I just quickly have to show you guys this. This is like a real authentic Thai food market here. None of this stuff made for the tourists. This is the real authentic places that they won't show you. Have a look at this. Hello. Wow, you got just fresh cuts of meat. They're ready to go. Bits and pieces of stuff I probably wouldn't eat, personally. All the fresh veggies, um, some more stuff over here. And uh, hello. And uh, yeah, like soups ready to go. Um, but, but yeah. Hello, how are you? <laughs> but just thought I'd uh, quickly show you guys that. The guys are probably going to be wondering why I'm not back. Nope, we have some time to head down here. Oh look, they got sushi. Sushi as well. Beverages. Uh, more, more fresh fruit and veg. And some hot food here. Deep fried. This is a lot of what you see in the Philippines actually. A lot of the deep fried kind of stuff. But there you go. There you go. A local fruit market. Well, sorry, a local food market in this small town. I'm going to quickly show you something else I just saw across the road. So I'm going to cross. Oh, shit. Holy shit, he's flashing his lights. We're going to cross this uh, massive. Oh, my God. I'm going to cross this massive highway. Look how cheap the clothes become. Once you get out of town, out of the no, no touristy area. Super, super cheap. Like 10 times cheaper. Maybe it's, no, it's all brand new. I was gonna say maybe it's uh, used clothing, but no. So if you can stop off here, I like that ketchup one. Yeah, you can stop off at these kind of places. You will get an absolute bargain. They look after each other in these areas. It's a lot more built up than I thought. So I've just got to this place after traveling all day on the boat and bus. I don't think I've ever felt this sick in my life. Four hours sleep. Oh, too much drinks last night. So ready for bed. Oh, I need food. I feel absolutely disgusting, eh? <sighs> seven, my lucky number, we'll yeah. take seven. Okay. Guys, I don't even know what these are. Um, seven? Yeah, okay. seven, thanks, man. And I actually don't really care. I need to lay down, like, right now and get to bed. I don't even know which one is the... I can't even talk properly. I hope there's no mosquitoes in here. Uh, okay. Okay, now we're talking. This is pretty cool. Oh my god. Oh! <coughs> I'm not sleeping in this one. This stinks, mate. Can I have a different one? That's disgusting. All I can smell is mold. That's crook. I'm not sleeping in that one. I'm changing rooms. Okay, so that one's number six. Okay. Is that open, Mark? Bro, that's just that a, hey, if you want that one, take it. But I've got a, I've got mold allergies. I'm not sleeping in that. You tell me that. You tell me that smells all right. I'd rather sit, sleep out here in the concrete. Yeah, it's, it's got some, some kind of smell. It's disgusting. There's something. Yeah. It's yeah. Oh my god, I can smell it from here. It's got some no, paint or something. I don't know what, what is it. It's mold. Oh really? Damp, yeah. I'm allergic to that. Oh. We all are. Mold is dangerous. Man. Mold is dangerous. Well, that was a bit of a letdown. I thought my spirits had risen there for a bit. I actually got really excited and then I smelt, smelt that smell. Brings me back to my childhood of living in a, a mold ridden house. Um, and that's, that's the extent of my glamping experience. I'd really be keen. Hey buddy, what does your one smell like? It, it, it smells just fine. Let me smell it. Let me, let me investigate and sniff around. 
smells just fine. Good. Ace is good, mate. You need to smell that one down there. That is disgusting. You got to turn the air conditioner on. It'll no, fall no, no, the smell no, out. no, no, no. It, it, that's covered. Like, so look at that. That's mold. Guys, is that mold, or is that not mold? Oh, you let no, me know that's in the all comments. in your head. That's all in your head. Oh, you Americans. Oh, shit, I've just tripped over. I've tripped over. You bloody Americans. No, but it does smell a lot better. Um, yeah, just that room. Do you want me to do it on booking.com or? You can. Like, yeah, it's probably cheaper. So, this is the room in uh, Green Resort, not something like that. Green Green Valley. Um, doesn't smell, but this bed, watch this, ready? Ready? You'd think like a bed would squish down a bit. Watch this. It's like a slab of cement with um, just like maybe a thin layer. Like, it's so hard. Who likes that? Does anyone like that? Let me know in the comments if you like that, because I don't... Pillow... The crap pillows. How do people run and own hotels and not understand, like... You know what, I'm going to sleep tonight because I'm so tired. Quick update, that girl's really nice. Um, she's going to get me some Thai food, because she knows I'm sick, so... Guys, we're just gonna chill here. We're gonna eat our tie, and then we're gonna go to bed. Uh, you're yeah. you're this one. Oh, thank you so much. How uh, much? Maybe you can pay later. Yeah, how much is it? 120 Oh, thank you so much. You're the best. Guys, look at this. Once we get in the light. Here we go. Oh, God. I love that lady. She's a lifesaver. We're gonna lock the door. We're gonna get into this and uh, yeah, get some sleep. See you guys. Good morning guys, it's the next day and I gotta say, I'm feeling much better. But have a look at this. We have a friend here who's come and greeted me at the door. Look at your eyes. They're more blue than mine. Such a nice mannered cat. <laughs> but anyway, guys, what we're gonna do, we're gonna return my plate from last night and we're gonna check out the free breakfast. Now, I think it's pretty cool. This is probably one of the only places where I've had breakfast included in the cost of the room, which I think is very good. Let's go. Coming along? Come on, brekkie time. Let's go. <laughs> come on, come on. Uh, good cat. Come on. Here we go, guys. So I've gone simple. I'm cutting out the carbs for a little bit. I've been naughty with the alcohol. With the breads, with the pizzas, all of that. So back to basics. This is what I would call a keto brekkie. So you got your omelette, you know, full of goodness, protein, uh, fat, all of that. Good fat. Got some ham and bacon and a sausage. It's pork maybe? But yeah, pretty cool. Keep it basic and uh, yeah, hopefully get a little bit shredded. We didn't just come to Kalsuk National Park to meet the local cats, to eat breakfast and complain about rooms with mold in them. And when I take a look at this banner and reception, we've got many things to do here because we're right on the river. So I've spoken to the lady and she has informed me that I'm gonna go on a raft today, a bamboo raft. And we're potentially gonna see some monkeys. We know what they're like in my videos, maybe some Maybe some waterfalls, and maybe even some elephants. I don't think I'll be doing that though. It's actually a really cool spot here. So you've got like these real cottage bamboo shack style things. Whoa, shit. Man, that cat, that cat come to attack me. 
Well, I thought it was like some monkey jumping out of the bush. Anyway, we will continue on. We're waiting for this uh, bamboo raft guy. We've got 10 minutes to kill, so let's go look at the river. I believe it leaves from this spot right here. They've even got scooter hire. Well, my heart, but we are okay. Here we go. Take a look at this. Wow, beautiful. She did actually offer me to go on a track for three hours or canoeing and I was like, you know what? I haven't even recovered from the full moon party. And now you want me to walk through a jungle for three hours. I don't think I'd do that today. So we have hired a guy for the day, $1,500. Maybe lunch is included. Maybe it's not. But hey, this thing looks pretty cool. Pretty cool. Sorry, crap. Wow. All right, guys, it looks like our driver is here. Now, I did speak to the lady at reception and I said, can you get me the best English speaking person? Because Philippines, very easy to vlog. Thailand, you know, if you've got that language barrier there, I can't speak Thai, they can't speak English. Um, it's very awkward content, I must say. But uh, let's see how we go. Hello. Is this my raft? This, this, this is mine? Okay. Nice to meet you. Marco. Oh, don't fall over. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Should I take my shoes off or keep them on? Yes, okay. Keep them on? Okay. Oh, oh. see, I'm too happy. So guys, first impression, I would say, is... Um, sit at the front. Sit at the front. Sit at the front? Yeah. Okay, so on this seat? Yeah. Push it. Sit. No seat? Yeah. Okay, guys, I don't get a seat. But I must say... Oh, she wants to get a photo first. Thank you. I can almost guarantee I'll be back from the trip. They'll have a poster. They'll have a framed photo. They'll have a plate all printed out and say, Oh, here you go. Here's the photo we took of you before. And then I'll try to sell it to you. Um, but I must say, guys, this is the most interesting bamboo raft I've ever seen. But hey, we're not going to complain. We're going to go with it because it's very relaxing. Have a look at the view. My friend, what animals can we expect to see today? Uh, snake. Snake? Yeah. Monkey. Monkey. Uh, wild elephants. What? Wild elephants. Snake. Maybe some tigers. Maybe. No. We've, we've got some snakes and monkeys, 100%. Maybe some wild elephants. There has been reports of, of wild elephants here from time to time. So we, we just don't know at this stage. Hold on to your hats, guys. We're about to go down the white water rafting river. Whoa, check it out. Far out, man! Where are you taking us? Monkey? monkey. Oh, there we go. Can you see that, guys? A couple of monkeys. Four monkeys, actually. With a baby monkey, so five. Oh, there they are. Can we go... Oh, we're, we're going too quick. Can we go have a look at them? Ah, oh, there we go, guys. Some monkeys. And we're going backwards. We're going backwards now. So we've just found a monkey, so what we're going to do... Oh, he's gone away. I'm going to try to grab on this rope here. Oh, that's actually quite hard. Right, we're going to go... Oh, it's so dirty. We're going to go try to talk to this monkey. 
if we can. Wow, look at him go. It's funny, with some of these monkeys, some of them just don't want anything to do with you. Some of them, like this one, are scared. Some of them can be quite aggressive. Oh, what? Duck. Dude, there's a dog. What? There is a dog in the water. The dog has eyed off the monkey and he's about to chase the monkey. He doesn't care about us. Actually, he does. You want to come in? Hey, buddy. I'm telling you right now, we're going to stay here. This dog, this dog is going after the monkey. <laughs> he's, he's floating downstream pretty quick. Okay, go after the dog. Go, go, go after the dog. We want to watch this. We want to see how he goes. So he's just swam right across with the current. He's got his eyes on the monkey. What's he going to do? This way, sir. Do you know whose dog that is? Do you know whose dog that is? Have you seen this dog? Uh. What if we put him in the raft and he can come for like a little bit of a ride? What's he got? He's got some rubbish. Hey buddy. Snake. Snake. Okay, apparently there's a snake or something. Um, I don't know where we're going, but he's paddling upstream pretty hard. What is it? Up here? Yeah. A snake? Where? Which way? This way? Up the tree. Up the tree. Hey, this guy spots some good. Huh? Oh, wow. Here we go. Have a look at that. Mangrove snake. Are they poisonous? A little bit. Okay, well we won't we won't let it drop down into the boat. Because then we'll both end up in hospital. Hey, there's so much wildlife guys. We've got snakes, we've got monkeys, we've got domesticated dogs just going for swims in the river. We've got it all here. We've got it all. Guys, while we're coming down the more calmer part of the river, I want to talk about a couple of things. So, I've been traveling now for a year and been back to Sydney twice in that period. I sold my business, and then I planned out where I wanted to go. So now I'm back here and I'm traveling full time. One thing you may have noticed is in my videos, there's a lot of alcohol. And it's not like I'm getting absolutely drunk every day, but I do enjoy maybe a beer or two or three every day. And then obviously after the full moon party, I got pretty, pretty drunk there. And it really made me question a, a few things. Sort of really let my fitness go. I've let my body go a bit. I mean, I used to be really fit and ripped and always doing sport, going to the gym and... Hello! Look at this. It's like a little little campground for all the locals. Oh, what? What was that? <laughs> but yeah, so... Uh, working out essentially has been replaced with drinking. And these are the things that happen when you travel solo. So yeah, obviously I'm having a lot of fun in these videos, which you can see, but once you go home at night and you're editing videos and you're alone in your hotel room, you get pretty lonely and you know, you think, oh, I'll just go to 7-Eleven and get a couple of beers. And then it gets you and it happens every day. And then when you think, oh, okay, I might stay in a hostel, not be as lonely. Who do you meet in hostels? There's always a party boy that, that wants to come and talk to you and influences you to have some drinks. And there's nothing wrong with that, but this is the kind of cycle that you get stuck in. But I will cut to the chase. From now, I want to start eating a lot healthier. Cut down on the drinking. Get back into a fitness routine. I mean, we're here in the beautiful Thailand, the home of Muay Thai. There's gyms everywhere. There's beautiful beaches where I can lay down and get tanned and get the best body possible. You've got so much different foods here. Good foods, eggs, chicken, rice, fresh fruit and vegetables. There's really no excuse. 
So it's really my choice. Do I do I want to continue living that life or do I really want to clean myself up? So you know what? I'm gonna clean myself up from this point. There will still be some drinks here and there. It's still gonna be fun, but it's just gonna be a, a new direction for Marco. Monkey! Okay, well, I didn't get a wave back. Absolute rejection. Okay. We don't want to go into the drink just now. So guys, we're jumping off. We are entering inside the jungle, which I don't even need my sunglasses for anymore. Have a look. Hopefully we don't get attacked by any wild monkeys or, or snakes or anything like that. So we're just trying to get the fire lit here and then before I trip over we're gonna get some um, Thai coffee made in the tube of bamboo which is really cool so right here in the forest just besides the river beautiful experience honestly didn't even know that this was included in the package but yeah I didn't think I'd be doing this today I was gonna spend the day editing but now look but something way better to do. Damn, I would have liked to do this video alone, but we just had three more canoes pull up. But hey, on this channel, you show the reality. I mean, I could say, I just want it to be us two, but no. This is the reality of travel. You have to share, and that's fine. Maybe they're gonna be cool people. But uh, yeah, I don't think you can get the fire started, to be honest. We've got a bit of a problem here. We've got a problem? We can't start? Yeah. <laughs> oh, bamboo is wet. So we're going to have to trek it into the uh, jungle. Do you want me to look for some bamboo? Yes. Okay. I'm going to... Okay. I'm gonna... Over this way? Yeah? Bamboo cup? Okay. Guys, we have our bamboo cup. We are losing our authentic experience here because we have had these uh, people rock up. But hey, let's try to let's try to forget about that. Let's just focus on on making this uh, coffee. I'm I'm really interested to see how they do it, and I love the versatility of bamboo and how they always think of something to do with it. Use it for fire. Use it for a coffee mug. Use it for the seats that I was just sitting on. So these spoons that we mix the coffee with, this dude here is actually the guy who creates them. Hey man, I'm just showing everyone how you make these spoons. So here we go. Let's have a let's have a look how he does it from scratch. So obviously just carved out a bit of a bit of the bamboo there getting it into a flat flat as piece as you can and then um oh see he's he's cutting out a bit of the depth there that nearly hit me in the eyeball um just to get the actual spoon shape he's done it he's done the fire <laughs> we've got it going guys finally hey and the wind the wind's just picked up a lot of winds just uh, started started coming. We're in the middle of a windstorm. 
Guys, so we're about to serve out the authentic, traditional Thai coffee. Uh, it's called Nest Cafe, straight out of the packet. So, um, no lying on this channel, guys. You know, yeah, we'll, we'll do some sugar. Wow, it's gonna burn my mouth off. There we go, thank you. And uh, as you can see, in the bamboo, it's actually heat insulated. So unlike a traditional porcelain or glass coffee mug, it's actually not burning my hands at all because the heat doesn't penetrate through. Maybe a little, but not much. I retract my statement about the bamboo cups. Being a good insulator, it's actually pretty bloody hot. But we're gonna try some of this jungle coffee and see how it goes. Very Nescafe-ish, it's good. So we're leaving the jungle and we've just got back aboard our raft. And I had a thought. I don't know how we're gonna get back. Cause I guarantee he's not gonna paddle that way. It's, it's too crazy, the current is dragging us down. So yeah, I'm really curious. Maybe maybe we're gonna get in a bus. I have no idea, but this is what the journey is all about. There. Oh, a baby python. Sorry about the dirt, my friend. Guys, the journey is over. We are at the end of the river. And as I said, I didn't think that he would be paddling back because it's a bit crazy. So it appears we're going to end up in this van. How are you doing? This van here, maybe. So it actually looks like we're in this one here. I'm actually choking a little bit too. Because the water's gone down the wrong way. And here we are. Oh, you're coming with us too. Cool. And then back out for the day. Guys, conclusions or ending a video are always the most weird and awkward part to do. I mean, I don't like saying goodbye. And sometimes I just don't know how to finish them. But I'm very tired and I have my chicken cashew nut without the rice because I said I was eating healthy. So I'm going to get into this and I'll probably see you for one more Thailand video and then I'm off to a new country. See you guys.